What's up guys? Here yeah, I'm back trying to provide you another uh, video and it's for the sump. Uh, here we go back to the Ketamofa or Cheto for short. It has many names or whatever but as you can see look uh, the little bit I have left of again the same amount about a half five gallon bucket and this actually weighs quite a bit you know it's got somewhat of water you know I kind of feel bad for all the Kobe pods that I'm actually losing out of this but the system has plenty so I'm not really that concerned but just look at this look at this guys just look 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 at this look at this this is crazy guys this is crazy with this little tank 35 gallon cube with a 20 gallon high sump can do a lot of people have told me the last time I made a video for this that if they can get a softball size is a lot guys this is the fourth time I've done this Seriously guys, this is the fourth time I've done this since I set up this system in December. Today is what? Today is February 26th. The fourth time I've done it. Look at this. This is what I get every single time. Approximately. <laughs> I can't even say more or less because it's almost exactly. Exactly. And that's, look, look. I think this time it's a little more than half. I would say maybe three quarter. Actually weighs. Actually got some some weight. Even though let's see, uh, it's got some little bit of water, but ain't much. This actually has some weight to it, guys. That's crazy. Grows like a weed. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, it's actually uh, water change day, and I just finished doing that. And. Uh, now everything is circulating. Now you can see it does not tumble right now. But give it about another two hours or so, it'll start tumbling. Like uh, it takes time for it to um, regenerate force from all the water coming down from 15 and a half inches, going straight down this baffle, and then creating a turbulence, and then coming back down to a 12 and a half height straight to the return so that's pretty much how my tumbling happens and it'll continue to tumble until it's big enough that it'll start hitting rather the, the mineral mud or this mesh over here which that's what I own the only thing I have that there is to maintain the chato in this chamber if not it'll grow out and literally it would want to grow out that happened the first time I did it and I had literally about maybe this much hanging because it just wanted to grow out from the force of the water. So that's the reason why I have this mesh there. Anyways guys, uh, that's my chill growth for you for time giving Giorgio as I always call it from Ancient Aliens. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know who I'm talking about. Yeah, that looks like Giorgio, right? Just green, because you know he's orange. <laughs> Anyways, guys, just to give a little humor. And uh, if you want some, guys, before I throw it out, let me know. <laughs> Come pick it up my front door. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy, guys. But anyways, uh, yeah, that light is the 38 par bulb. The same thing that I have up here, feeding to my corals. Uh, I don't want to be shaky guys because I don't want to move the camera too much a lot of people complain about that Anyways, but that is the somewhat of an update Just giving you a little little insight while I have time Take care guys peace any questions. Let me know Make any comments view my past videos. Thanks for all your support Um Later guys, peace.